Yeah, you know what it is. Hot97.com and FlexWeTrust.com. This is 50.com, so you know who I'm getting ready to talk to. 50, what's up, my brother? What's up, man? Everything is good, Flex. I'm out here working. Listen, man. So, look, we just put a picture on the blog of you speaking at the U.N., yeah. Please tell me what that's about. Oh, uh, man, it's about the, my SK project. I, I created, like, a, a, a energy drink. Yes. SK Energy, and, and going into the actual category with, like, philanthropy built into it. So it's, like, one of one. For every bottle of it just purchased, a child is being fed, not, not only in Africa, but through the World Food Program, which is one of the most respected organizations that you could be connected with. They do... Relief in Haiti it, when when there's an earthquake or in Japan if there's a tsunami it's just what the government relies on to actually make sure that there's aid for different countries and different people in need. Let me tell you something. It's an amazing thing you're doing, my brother. Amazing man. It's an amazing thing. I mean, it's it's, it's been a, a a hell of a journey for me. Like I, I've been able to 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 absorb. A lot of new information. I got you. In a short period of time, and and I have a lot of people that have have experienced a lot, like a lot more different, like different areas. Like I got a bunch of Harvard graduates around me in conversation, opposed to the guys that would just be from the neighborhood mm-hmm. every day. Flex, you know. So you you learn you learn a lot just in basic conversation no. than you would, you know, if they're providing information consistently. Than, than talking to somebody who's just you know just telling you a joke or telling you what happened in the hood today. But uh, your know, fifth, I know you must when when you're at the UN. I mean, I'm sure you get a lot of music questions. <laughs> I'm sure you do. Oh yeah, you know you know what it is. But before we start that, I already I I just use that before we can get off the out the gate. Like I tell them with with, with my experience. Like a lot of people know my story. Like I I, don't, I never met my father. My mom was killed. Before. I, at the age of eight, mm-hmm. so a lot of the mistakes that I made in those early stages will come from lack of, of guidance in that early point. But I don't regret those things. This is my life. If I wouldn't be who I am right now if I hadn't experienced those things. And I said the same thing I'm saying to you, and in, in front of the, you know, the majority of people from the United Nations, right there, everybody's sitting there. So, and and they clapped. I thought I was actually done because what it does is it it, it creates a a strong example of possibility of change for someone who's, who's been brought up under those circumstances where they mm-hmm. cannot no longer have limits. You know what it is, Hot 97, Funk Flex, 50 Cent. Now, Fifth, I mean, yeah. I got so much to ask you about. First of all, you were at the Mayweather fight. Right, right. Fam, you was looking so crazy and so, I mean... In tune to the action in the ring, my brother. Yeah, yeah. Because, you know, what's crazy, Flex, let me tell you something. Look, with, with Floyd, before he actually go, going into the ring, I grab his head before I leave the ring, and, and I tell him, because, you know, a fighter got to have killer instincts. You can't get in there uh, feeling nice to that. Yep. You see what I'm saying? And yeah. if you don't go, and I put his head in, 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 in the right space in conversation, just before I get out there, last thing I say to him, to get him focused, because like Ortiz, Ortiz is a is a good guy. Like he, like in person, you talk to him, you'll feel like he's trying to be like a nice guy to you. You see what I'm saying? Like there's not trying, a problem. But, but you you just said trying, right? Trying because he's really trying to make sure that you can't feed your kids the way you're comfortable. Okay. <laughs> if he land a hook on you, you know what I'm saying? Like there you go. Wow. Now now you got a whole new obstacles in front of you. So I'll tell him kill him. Now now. Fifth, when you saw Ortiz headbutt Mayweather, what did you think of that? He did it more than one time, man. He did it several times, man. Like it, it just one was visible because he, he damn near came off his feet trying to run into him. You see what I'm saying? Yes. That the last one, and then then it's like apology. Your, your apologies, like every time I go with Flo, you know what's interesting? I've been in venues where that many people came out to see me perform music, right? Uh huh. But those people generally are fans of 50, like 50 Cent. Got you. Now, when we go, every time we come out into the ring, they bore us. It's meant to go out there. Uh-huh. The last time we was, the, me and the Delahoya fight, it was single, single the mile. There was nothing but Mexicans in there. <laughs> when, when, you know what I'm saying? It was interesting is, is Floyd is, is a part of pop culture. He is 
our Muhammad Ali. He's, wow. he's that guy that, you know, for right now, for this time period, that on the fighter end, it is completely in tune with everything that's going on Let in the me. culture. This is why when you look at 24-7, you'll see all kind of artists popping up just to say what's up. Fifth, let me tell you something. I was not a full Mayweather fan, like fully, until uh -huh. this fight. Because I feel like I understand him a little better. Like, I, and I'm going to go out on a limb on, 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 a Pac, yo, on the Pac, on the Pac uh -huh. Man comment. But, yo, he, he gets in there by the first, second, third round. He's taking a couple blows and a couple things, and people get confused. But he's really feeling out that fighter to see what right. he got. It ain't going to take, look, he got seven minutes, right? You got seven minutes to do something. And then impressive. And because then after that, he takes over the fight. But but he doesn't do it the same way every fight. It's a different no, tactic he uses each fight. Yeah, because it, it, Floyd don't need a particular game plan. It, it, it's instinct. You can't make another look. We can sit there and get a fight in there and train him to throw the punches the, the right way from the beginning, and he's not instinctively going to do everything that, that Floyd does the same way. You know what I'm saying? Like, even his daddy, like, he had issues with his pops because his pops would like to live vicariously through him on some levels. He didn't achieve the same success. Now, what, did, what did you think, Fifth? Were you in the area when Larry Merchant and Mayweather had yeah, that I'm standing run right in? there. I'm standing right there. And then, he, but he never, he never gives him a fair shot on his performance. Whoever they beat, they say, oh, he was washed up when you beat him. And then Dingo sent the same person he just beat to Pacquiao. Mm -hmm. You realize everybody that they, they say that Floyd needs to fight next is under his previous promoter. Got you. Like now that he's not, he's not sharing the money because <laughs> he's taking a hundred percent of the money. You see what I'm saying? Everybody that's around Floyd is an employee. They, they're employed to him, but the money, the check itself, is cut to Floyd. And that's that. No middleman. Ah, oh, that's it. We go straight to the bank. Now, yo, so now I heard you put, um, I heard you bet on the fight, and you had you made a hefty trip to the bank. I was just hearing it, grapevine. Yeah, well, you know, they go send that W that W nine. <laughs> 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 you know, they <laughs> send that W nine. So I'm gonna I'm gonna chill with that. It's but hot, you know, wait, <laughs> so it's hot ninety seven. Funk Flex, hot ninety seven dot com, and Flex we trust dot com. Now fifth. Now yeah. listen, I'm gonna tell you what I heard about you. I heard you was instigating this situation between Fabulous and Ray J, okay? Yeah, let, let now, wait, it. fifth, let me give you what it is right now. I I'm going to tell it. you what, what the, let me, so you know what the playing field is you're dealing with. Ray J is out here saying he clocked Fab ridiculously in front of you, swung a haymaker, and left a mark on his face. <laughs> Fab. <laughs> Fab is saying there was nothing of the sort that happened. He was never touched. Only one of these stories can be true, Fifth. Right, right. And and I want to know, know what happened. I want to know where you were. You know what happened? So look, we came, we came back, like we came there. Me and Floyd, we, we drove through there. And we had a bunch of people with us because we just came. Like everybody stayed at the house the night after the fight. So... We came down to the Palms. Ray was already staying at the Palms. Uh -huh. So Fab and we, we, we sat on the side of the stage and we watched Jada and, and Styles do their joint. And because and like, people were just really coming in the actual show, I told his, his uh, production people, team to turn the lights off in the house. Who's this? Who's production people? Uh, Jada and, and uh, Styles crew. I told gotcha. them to turn the, turn the lights off in the house so... So they perform to their, their regular standards because when you look at the crowd and ain't nobody moving, you don't move. Got you. And, you know, and I was just like, just turn it. It's just stuff that I learned, you know, while I'm out on tour and on the road because I, I had artists and acts that I got to watch them make sure they're doing the best performance all the time. So I just told him that, and then he fixed it. We sat there, watched their whole show, and then we left because we knew they had to come off the stage, and that's yes. where we was at. Got so you. We, we went to the actual hallway, and then... Styles and, and, and Jada came over. We got a chance to kick it for a few minutes. They went in the dressing room. Uh -huh. They soaking wet from the show. Then Fab crew starts to come through. Now, me and Fabulous, we just came off a Australia run. I took them. It was me, Fab, and Lil' Kim so, on Australia run. So, so I would see them so, while we so, was traveling. So, so now, Fab, so Fab is, this is, Fab just comes in the club now. Yeah, he just comes into 
to the back of the, the actual the dressing room. All right, now where's like Ray J right at that moment? Where is he? He he like standing right in front of me in Floyd. Oh, is this when he had on the red sweat hoodie? And and he had flip flops on. Like he had no no. Wait socks a minute, on. time out. So he had on the red sweat hoodie. Red shorts. Red and shorts. Red and white. And red and white flip flops. Flip flops. No socks on. With no socks on, and Fab comes in. Now, how do they how do they intertwine? What happens? What do you see? See, look, Fab is looking at him like, because as soon as he comes, like Ray was like, he popped off like, more like, yo, I told you, my my, you know, my people weren't gonna be happy with all that. Now that's Ray J saying that to Fab. Right, right. How close? Hold up, Fifth. How close is he to Fab when he's saying this? Is he two inches from his face or ten inches? About five, about five inches. He's like five inches from his face. Yeah, like he got like he got pretty close to him. <laughs> wait, he's in it. So, so what wait, I did wait. Was, time out, no. fifth. Is there any finger pointing or body touching? That's this. The what happened was he like no, like he like pushed him. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa! Who pushed to you? Are you saying that Ray no. J pushed Fab? Listen, listen. Ray J had like was like yo. Like, like before, as the conversation was starting, like he tapped him. He was like, "Yo, I told you my people weren't gonna be happy with wait, all wait, that." Wait a minute. When you say tapped on the shoulder, yeah, like both shoulders at the same time. He tapped both shoulders at the same time. Yo, I told you my peeps wasn't gonna be happy with that. What did Fab say after that? And Fab is looking at him like he's crazy because he was looking gotcha. at him, he looked at me, and he was like, "Yo," and I'm like, "Cause he, he Fab was coming to say like he said what's up to me, like he was giving me a pound and then right after that." Well, you laughing at any point? No, no, I didn't get funny because <laughs> look, one of the fact people what, look. Well, you instigating it? No, nah, because look, let me tell you what happened. Why that? Like when that happened? I thought you like, were telling me what happened. Now you <laughs> look, Marcus. Like one of the fat men, Marcus. Right? Like he was like my role manager in the beginning. Gotcha. So Marcus is like he like probably about two two thirty right now. Gotcha. Five, about five foot. Eight, no, five foot, yeah, about five foot well, eight, five foot listen, seven. Listen, fifth. No, so he, I start seeing him rocking back and forth. Like, he's getting ready to, you know what I'm saying? Do so something. I, yeah, so I put my finger up, and like my index finger, and I said, no, don't, don't, don't do that. And he looked, and then the the, the big security dude that Fad had, had with him was like, I, I know him. Like, he was one of my first security people. So and, and they, yeah, it was this big fifth. dream. So I'm looking at him, and I'm like, they, I wouldn't let them have no fight with, like, period. Like, cause what they did, like when Fa- when 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 Ray J touched Fab, what did Fab say? What happened after that? Now he said, "Whoa, gotcha." Yo, you, uh, you lost your mind, right? Because you said you went <laughs> off the. He said, "Yo, you lost your mind." <laughs> so, then, so are you saying that Ray J never swung? He never swung. There was no punch thrown. No, nah, listen. What happened is following that. It was like one of them big, like, I think he had a little bit of juice in him. You know what I'm saying? Who had the juice in him? I think Ray had a little something. He had a little juice in him. You saw yeah, like, alcohol. Or something like, because it was all some help somehow to get him. Like, because I didn't know that they had already saw each other. Okay, so so is this an example of they saw each other earlier, it was all good, but then when it no, got people around a lot. Say, look, people say, look, I can't help it. I, if I don't pump you up on purpose, it's not my fault. Got you. If I pump you up without saying anything, because I'm there, mm-hmm. how yeah. can you blame me? Like, if, it, if a person starts to be like, yeah, now my people's is here. What's up? 50, are you saying Ray J's lying? I'm not saying Ray J's lying. He he said he swung on fans. No, no, no. And no, listen, we did. He did, he did start to move in the actual hallway, and I got in between both of them. Now, okay. Yo, I'm going to ask you a question. Did you see uh, fear in anybody's eyes? I ain't seen no fear. Well, Fab had on them dark glasses. <laughs> he had on black glasses. But if he got punched in the face, Flex, the boy went, Fab went, went on stage with no glasses. On the actual, that would tell you how bad he was He was. Here. So you say, Fifth, I'm going to ask you again. Fifth, did, are you saying Fab did not get punched in the face? No, nah, he didn't. Because he had, he look, did we not. had three. So we had three balconies. If he got touched in his face, if he felt like he got punched in his face, it ain't enough for you to call a punch. Okay. Now, I'm going to ask you another question. So nobody got punked? 
No, nah, it ain't no. You know what it is? Fab, like, I don't know. <laughs> Bob, listen. Bob, well, Fab, Fab got to feel like if, if somebody's pride is hurt. All right, now. Oh, so you feel. Be, wait a minute, Fib. That you're using key words. Do you you feel like you, so you you feel that was there any punking going on at this situation? Well, you, listen, this is what I'm saying. The way the way the situation went down, of course you can interpret some of it like it's punking going on, or because you're looking at a guy who who's like people like like Tyrese is is the Coca Cola kid. Got you. But try to talk, talk to Tyrese like that. He don't know he's the Coca Cola kid. As far as he's concerned, he from Watts. He might swing on you. Got you. You see what I'm saying? So. Like you, you can interpret him like like the first impression you got from him, but you know people they be, they become different over time. Like Flex, so when Ray is sitting there and he like like they look at Ray there like you're R and B singer, you ain't even supposed to be, and he don't he don't feel like this. That night he didn't felt like he was no R and B singer. <laughs> got you, got you, got you. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So so but, you felt but, but Mr. Fab, like Fab, like as far as somebody getting punched, because look, if I punch somebody in the face, they they can't they gotta wear glasses. Got you. So there was no no punch thrown. There was so no one got punked. It was it was it was a couple of words, and then it, some, and then you came between yeah. them. It was like a like a scuffle. Like he pushed. He, Did like, you pushed feel him. anyone wanted to go outside? No, that that was. It felt like that right there where we was at. Like that they, they was were, going to get into it like that. But I had kind of gotten between the two of them, and then it was like Fab was like, "Yo, so y'all, man, y'all go get this boy. You know, y'all get this boy killed." Okay, gotcha. Okay. He, he was saying, because he was like, man, y'all gonna get this nigga killed. Okay, okay, so. Because the, so, way, the way he, like, backed off, because he, he he pushed at him. Like, he put, like, as soon as he came, he tapped him on both shoulders. He said, I told you my people wasn't gonna like that. But they had already talked about it. So Fab was trying to say, what are you talking about? Like, I just told you. And then it was just that swing that Ray J is talking about. What, what swing? Yeah, you know, there was no swing, no fifth. No, there was a swing, but it didn't land on nothing, so you can't call it a. Oh, a punch. Wait, wait a minute, time out. Who who swung on who? No, nah, Ray did this swing, Adam. He swung, and oh, you say he swung, but did not connect. No, nah, if it connected, then it have, he'd have a mark on Okay, him wait a minute. So, all right, now you're saying so you're saying Ray J swung, did not hit Fab. What did Fab do after there was a swing? I put I would push Fab and them to the side. Him and Paul, oh, him and his brother. I put them to the side like yo, chill, chill, because they it wasn't really for look. That, you're always under the eye in the sky in Vegas. Okay, so Fab, look. Because you at that you won't right. be on tape. So listen, I got a couple other things to ask you. Okay, it's hot ninety seven Funk Flex. Now listen, Fifty Cent has cleared up what happened. We have a full understanding of what happened. Yeah, now, ain't nobody, ain't nobody like for Fab. There's nothing to be like because he didn't touch him. He probably is more looking at it like. The fact that it's being said gotcha. is, is a disrespect. And that's what I'm talking about as far as the person's pride. Got you. Because of what was being said. Because he, he wasn't hurt at all. We sat there. We, I, we bought three balconies on the actual at the actual show and then invited everybody to come hang out with us because we wanted to see their show. Got you. And we came, checked Fab and Locks out. They bought the boy. I ran into this kid, Meek, too. Meek Mills was there. So what's up to him and anything. Okay, okay. It's hot 97, Funk Flex. Fit. Now, Fifth, I got one more thing to ask you. Yeah. Now, you know, we, we, for some reason, when me and you get together, there always uh -huh. seems to be something that Game said, and I just want to know if you're aware of it. Now, you know what Game's been on Twitter talking kind of reckless. Uh, I don't know if you're aware of it, but he's... <laughs> yeah. I, I got a word. I can't with a word for everything that you see from... From that guy, like it's, it's desperation flex. Okay, okay. So you like, know, you, what, know he, you know. Remember, he said something. He said that you were in the closet. That's what he was referring to. Now, it, that, where? Yeah, and I mean, that that is, if, if anyone, if that's a valid question, they, they really need to just ask the young lady. Because <laughs> I don't do. I don't. I really don't do. Like, too much talking, even about who, who I'm hanging out with. So, like, I don't so, like to talk about so, it. So when you say desperation, what do you say is desperation for? It's, it's when you're hurting. You got to try to make some type of conversation. What what song is playing right now, Flex? Like, from his new LP? Um, I'm, well. Okay. Let's let's move on. No, no, wait. wait, wait, wait come on, Fifth, man. Oh, let's move know, on. There's nothing yo, playing. I know what you so, just, yo, Fifth, I know what you just did to me, man. <laughs> I know what you did. <laughs> I know what you did. 
<laughs> let, wait, now, let, let, let's clear that up. He does have an album out presently. There's not a record that he has right now on Hot 97's rotation, but, uh, you know, I do know he has something played across the country. I want to be fair, Fifth. I got to be fair. Okay, there is no song playing across the country. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if you take the, we can check it. If you take the BDS, man. It's nothing okay. there. Okay. That's desperation, B. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Fifth, I want to tell you something, man. Um, Congratulations. On the SK thing, the energy drink, man. Speaking at the UN, my brother, you are getting you you are getting to be one of those brothers who are living your dream and doing everything in life that people think about, man. And just congratulations to you, you know. Thanks, man. It's exciting to be able to explore all these different things and and just learn learn new stuff, you know. Like and for for me, like musically, they're gonna they're gonna hear my new efforts now, and I'm ready for November. I'm gonna be coming out, so I'll start. I'll be back on the street and do some different stuff too. You know, like for me, like like you know, like I don't think that there's. You know, why I've I've been having extreme interest in other areas is because I'm not sure you can match the success that I've had to this point. Mm-hmm. See, I don't know what I would have to do to have. Uh, you know, there's no second chance to the first impression. Correct. And when your first impression is the largest debut in hip hop, out you you move 12 million records. And then, like, and then follow up with 10 million records on the massacre. Then you go, okay, I, I want to continue to make music, but I'm not sure that they'll it'll impact as hard, regardlessly. You know, regardless of how good it is, the, you know, the timing is you, you can't be new again, unless you go away. But cut. This is why it's taking so long to launch this actual album because I need them to feel, listen to everything else that's there, get used to that, and then be ready to hear what what I got to say to you. You know, like, I've seen it, it, it always cycles just right now. The music is in such a, we in the 70s, you know, like, what, what's a hipster? Ain't that a cool way to say hippie? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And when when you got hits like Nova Kane and you got new artists that come out like uh, Wiz Khalifa where the theme is getting high, it speaks to that period, that period of time where it was just, let's just get high and have fun. You know, and even I'm on one. Ain't, ain't that what that, that record is about? Like, it's got a lot of hit records about getting high and having fun. So, so I mean, I just think it's just cycled all the way back to that, and then they'll be ready for what my presentation and what I, what I put together creatively. Let me tell you something, man. My brother, you always make good albums, man. Always. Yeah. And club bangers, and that's what keeps you in the game. Yeah, I'll come right back. And I like when they, they start to think that that's not going to happen. Nobody thinks that, Fifth. <laughs> nobody, <laughs> nobody thinks that, my brother. Nah, 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 nah. It's at 97, Funk Flex 50 Cent. I appreciate it, my brother.